بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أتي الله أتي رسول أولو الأمر منكم an always a reminder from myself and abdukul ajisa daif o miskeen zalim jahal but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu amanu O you who believe believe because the right is getting more dangerous and we're reminded by only Allah and this noble way of Naqshbandiyat al Aliya and the way of immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad the golden path into the essence and heart of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and Mawlana Sharaf ad-Din Daghestani Siru reminds that when they were faced with difficulty and his people came to him because they were coming, the Qazak armies to kill Muslims and they were everywhere. And they said, Ya Sayyidi they're now approaching very close. They looked at the community and said, it's planting season. Go plant your crops and they all gathered thought, okay we have to run now, what, what are you talking about planting your crops? And many said, oh they don't know what they're doing, stuff And they started to leave and when they all left, Those that remained said, for you, now come. Shallow, I'm going to recite over this water from Ayatul Kareem Surah Al Yaseen. That we created a barrier before them, behind them. So, Ayatul Kareem, I'm going to recite on this water. This Ayatul Kareem and bring your families, those who left, who stayed, who were left. And the others who ran away, they ran. And the ones who stayed, he recited and said, Now have all your families drink from this water and we're going to walk now through these forests and through from where they were in Dagestan all the way to Rashidiya in Turkey. They walked through these armies and said that they described that not a bird would move without the Russian army slaughtering everything. So you could not walk through this region more or less to go from Dagestan all the way into Turkey. And he said, we're going to recite and we're going to walk. And who was with them was Hajj Amina. She was grandchild of, of that, those families and she said, we're, we're with them, that family and we're moving through this. Said that everything was being shot. But when Mawlana Sharaf ad-Din recited, no one saw us. They couldn't see us, they couldn't hear us, nothing. They were completely veiled and we walked. But had we yelled and screamed and… and done something we would have pierced that veil and they would have killed all of our people. And that is from the immense wisdom of awliyaullah that when faced with difficulty their karama, their reality is not manifest for everyone. The reality manifests within a heart that believes. It's not so easy that you know all of a sudden angels will appear because Allah would have done it that way. If He wanted everyone to believe there would be angels appearing right now from the sky coming down saying, that's it you people you know believe or Jahannam waiting for you. So it's not based on it's just going to happen for people. Your heart has to believe 
And every time you believe Allah shows that belief into the heart of those people who believe. So you can have ten and five believe, five don't, five don't see anything, don't feel anything, don't recognize anything. Not for their Lord, not for Prophet nor for anyone of a much less significant value in Divinely Presence. Because Allah didn't grant that belief, they didn't nourish the belief, they didn't follow along to build that belief to witness the miracle. Because dunya wants it the other way, they want you to Show the miracle, I believe, now I'll support you, now I'll give to you, now I'll follow you. Doesn't work that way with Allah That's not iman, that show us the miracle then I follow. Iman and faith is that you follow and if Allah wants He'll begin to show you miracles. Within your life, within the life around you. And everything that is being sustained but it is based on individual faith. That's why all these emails are coming in and people whom are reading them are like, wow what the heck, how that's happening? And does it happen to everybody? He said, no of course not but it happens to somebody who believes. And somebody else says, oh, I'm with you guys, I'm taking the tariqah and no their emails are completely different. <laughs> nothing happening, what's this, what's that, yeah of course nothing gonna happen. With those kind of comments, the way you talk, the way you interact, somebody say, email the, oh I've been doing this and that, and that, nothing happening and it will never happen, you should go somewhere else. It's not a challenge, they're not in need of anyone because this ship gets thinner and thinner. Now lots of people trying to cling on but when difficulty comes, all these different events in life come, it's not about any type of miracle just appearing and then all of a sudden you believe and you follow. But you have to have the belief and you did the steps within your heart, what I did in my belief and within my heart that Allah made many miracles to appear for me. Ten other people could have been sitting to the right and left of me and never saw any of it, never felt any of it, never tasted any of it because it's all unique to your heart. So my heart has to believe. I put my belief in action. When I put my belief in action by learning, studying, giving, supporting, focusing, I don't post on ten different people, I had one shaykh one direction and I was lost in that ocean of reality until I look like that shaykh, I talk like that shaykh. And people can see that shaykh when they look at me because you look like who you love, you look like who you focus on. If you focus on ten people you don't look like anyone and those ten people then are focusing on you, you're deluded. You've deluded yourself. So means this is a, is, a, is a big thing to focus on in these immensely difficult days. People are emailing, should we take all these? Qul ya nahru kuni bardan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. There's a fire of Nimrod now, everyone sees it. You are at a level of belief to jump into fire, ahlan wa sahlan let's jump. If you're not in the f level of belief it's going to burn like hell, it is a fire. It will kill, it will destroy, it will obliterate everything in its past. Qadab Allah, Allah's anger is moving upon this earth. That's why the testing. So other people don't understand, well why they're doing like this, why they have charity work, why they have all these books, why they have the… because they want you to believe and participate. If you're not participating, you're deluding yourself, you're going here and there, then don't consider yourself believing and maybe this stuff won't work for you. So you might as well go take whatever remedy people are saying. So 
So it's not the shaykh is going to give an order now, oh everybody take this, this will save you from Allah's anger. Nothing will save you from Allah's anger. Not a hundred of them, not twenty of them. We described before, every time you fix it, Allah will make it a different one. One was round, they took the pictures of round, one may become like oval and they're just going to keep changing because it's qadabullah, it's the anger of Allah It's the anger of the Divine the Presence that this humanity is not worth saving. The things they do, the things they believe, the actions that they're putting upon this earth, not the ocean wants them, storms come and psh, sink them, not the earth wants to carry them, it shakes, opens and swallows them. So we know the time. When you know the time then there's no point in emailing, should I do this, do this? And other people say, well we're just following your advice. I say, I didn't give any advice. We don't have any advice. Our advice is you have to believe. Are you believing? And belief will be in every action that you do. The danger for those who draw too close to a shaykh and thinking they're friends with him. Maybe that will disturb your belief because now you're like, we're buddies, he has no friends. He has a very lonely life. He teaches and the friendship would contaminate the teaching because then you don't know if I'm believing or just a friend with you and I'm going to listen. No, you have to believe he's just a representative like a piece on a chessboard that Allah can replace at any time. If he does the job good Allah keeps him in the game. And his, his reality is to keep t testing, testing, you believe in come, you believe in come. When you came so much on the way, you've given so much to the path, you've read all the books, you did all the studies, you watch every single video, you've done everything that you possibly can and you meditate, you contemplate, you try to lose yourself and dress yourself from the reality then you should feel as if you are like a duplicate of that reality. Oh I know every word when you're about to say it, it's like I can complete the sentences. Mawlana when, when he would talk, well, we could complete his sentences, I know what he was going to say the next word because the heart was already like in tune, we said this many times. It was like he was a master violinist and when he hit the string my heart was already fluttering what notes were going to come out. Because you're in tune with somebody, you're, you're moving in their energy ocean, mesmerized by them, love them, sacrifice and give towards them and you don't have a day of regret from whatever happens in life and however you're tested, I wouldn't take back a minute of my time that I had in that reality. I would have got to know we're working at Starbucks. Allah gave me that gift and you try to master to the best of your belief. Based on that Mawlana would describe to other people, I don't know what this guy is but he believes. And his belief, he made a door and then he walked through it. So it means our life is not that, hey, are you sure this is going to save us? So no I'm not sure for anyone. Allah knows only your heart, I don't know your heart. But I'm sure I know what I'm doing. I'm testing and teaching, testing and teaching. But if you believe and your heart believes then let Allah's miracle begin. So no the shaykh doesn't know who's going to survive these difficulties because that's only between you and your Lord. You're not here to be worshipped, they're just somebody whom Allah has raised, gave them a heart of how they're describing, they went through their testing. They company, nobody knows the life of the shaykh except a very few handful of people. They know how they've been tested, how they've been crushed, how they gave everything in their life away. And Allah sent it back ten times more, Allah's not poor. Everything that they did, and then they come now, represent the teaching and they begin to follow. Are you following? Are you believing? And then with your belief you put everything into your belief. I want to wear like them, look like them, talk like them, listen to them. So much like them, I'm in that ocean of them, I feel like I'm in that fana because I love them. And this is a 
religious love, pure love, like you love your father, nothing else. Otherwise it's disgusting and dirty, shaitan plays with the mind of people. It's a love like you have for your father and your grandfather. It's a Divine love and when you're lost in that love you have a strong faith like a mountain. Then when they give you du'a know that that du'a is working. When they give you something to recite you know it like your entire being, Allah with me, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad with me and my awliyaullah whom I was with them all my life with me, alhamdulillah. Walk through the fire. But no, they don't have an answer for everyone coming through, yes it will work. That would be a charlatan because how could you say something going to work if you don't know the heart of that individual? So we're clear. So then real shaykh has to tell you, no we don't know what's going to work, we don't know which du'a going to work because everyone is independent. How would a du'a work for you if you don't really believe? You give five dollars here but you give ten thousand dollars to a doctor and to an attorney to help you. Shaykh please make du'a for me, a lot of trouble, here's five dollars, thank you very much. I got saved from an auto accident, someone got saved from an auto accident said all the wheels were about to fall off their car, they gave you fifty dollars. Thank you for saving our life. Oh your life was that? That's not belief. Belief? Because when you put your whole life into something, you believe. When you believe, you better believe these du'as, they'll shake the earth based on your belief, not based on my belief. Because my du'as work, inshaAllah, when I make the du'a for myself because I believe. But they work for you if you believe. That's why the guys are reading some of the emails. A imam sent us an email, said somebody was in difficulty and playing the zikr and they could see that there was a difficulty in the person, they were interacting differently with the zikr. And they said, I remembered and has very strong belief all the different things that this individual is doing and we see his name all the time on everywhere, on every platform I see his name. That he's getting from this, he's doing from this, he's getting the book on here, he's making comments on here, of course he has strong belief. So I began to recite ayat al-kursi du'a. So as I'm reciting, lightning and thunder is wind outside. And I'm reading, reading, reading to the seventh thing, there's winds coming out. By seventh when I finished all of it went away, these sounds, these winds, these lightnings. Later I'm meditating, on another day it says, I see two beings and in my heart I'm communicating with them, what are you doing? He said, we came through these du'as for your support. That you asked, you made the du'as, we're here for the support. So I said, Wallahi Shaykh I'm reading these and all these miraculous things happening. So alhamdulillah for you because you believe. This is the grace of your Lord not the shaykh. The shaykh merely teaches you, gives you a way in which to prove your religion by having all of these facilities. He said, okay you believe, here's a book, he didn't have to make a book. The secrets were already his in his heart. He didn't put the secret to know it for himself. But for you to show you believe, you want this, you read it, you got it memorized and that's your iman. And when you have that level of iman then you have to know whatever you're reciting Allah is supporting, Prophet is supporting. Then you understand with that level of support your inspiration comes and says all these things they're not helping anyone and nobody going to help you from Allah's anger except Allah And when Allah's anger comes then there has to be a relief, there has to be these du'as, all of these beliefs that, Ya Rabbi I'm making tawbah through these du'as. If it's an anger from me or from those I love through my du'as and my belief inshaAllah become a relief for the people whom I love and that's why we said this way is not only I'm good, I don't have to do more. No look at your children, none of them are good and are they going to stay good as they get a little bit older now enter into the arena of the filthy dunya 
Don't look at them at four and five, then they can't run anywhere. Wait till they get 13, 14, 15 and head into the schools. You say, how are they going to do? So then do better yourself, do more for yourself, do more of your practices, support more, do all of these things that is your belief. And when your belief is so solid and your faith is so solid that you make du'a and Allah dress it and bless it because it's merely like a key, Allah provide the lock, put the key in and inshaAllah it opens. But there's no shaykh who can guarantee that everybody recite this, you're okay. That's why Mawlana Sharaf al -Din filtered the room, he filtered them. Because when he said, plant your seeds and half of them, well, what are you talking about? He said, you're going to do that now in the middle of the jungle while they're shooting at us? You open your mouth like that, we're all dead. I don't need them, get out. So we're entering into a very dangerous phase and it requires an extreme amount of faith. And that faith can only be achieved by your practices and your heart. Because the du'as and everything that be given is, is not you're, you're testing the shaykh's heart. Shaykh has his connection, <laughs> has his du'as. He even facilitated nicely on an app so you would have the du'a. Where all the shaykhs are, I don't know what they're doing, they're all big inheritors, big titles, they don't give a single du'a for anyone. But at least alhamdulillah they give the hikmah of putting the app, all these du'as are there, just requires now our individual testing and our individual faith. With our faith, whatever they force on us, inshaAllah be like water. Ameen Ya Rabbi Whatever we need of support, become a support. That's why I say we're walking through fire. When Allah, when Allah sh show you that they say, now you go through that fire, say, I'm for sure I'm going to be dead. Not if Allah is with you. You qul ya nahru quni bardan wa salaman, you walk through and they don't know what happened, you didn't die from it. And many taskat al awliya like that. They lock him up and as soon as they feel like having a walk, they're walking around the garden and say, oh, every time we lock this man up from this cellar, he's walking out in the garden at Fajr time and enjoying himself. Then they grab him again, put him back in and put him and lock him in and then at Fajr time he's back outside walking around saying, do you think that what you have is going to contain somebody who believes? And you think the threat that you put upon them or the danger you put upon them? is going to frighten them when all the heavenly kingdom is behind that person. So it means this is a time and that's why Allah is saying from Qur'an and Majeed and that's why the shaykh tested Mawlana Sharaf al -Din, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, all you who believe. So we wiped out most people who, because they don't believe. So this is very specific khususan, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, Allah then challenging you, amanu. Make sure your faith is increasing every day. Make sure what you can do, you do it more the next day. Whatever you're doing, doing, doing until your heart is, is, is cracked with overflowing belief, overflowing good actions. InshaAllah with our own level of firmness, our own practices, each heart can answer their own email. But you'll know with your heart what you're doing, what you believe, what your actions are, then these du'as will work. If the heart is not in that condition, you reciting these a hundred times and you, you, you say nothing's happening. Many things are happening as a matter of fact, it's just you don't have a heart to understand that. And those whom their faith is getting stronger and stronger, and they're doing their connection, they're doing their practices, they witness the lights. We have even people say that, I have a, a photo in my house and a guest came over. And the guest merely looked and said, there's an immense amount of light from these photos. He said, I'm sitting in that house every day and I don't see these lights. Means that that which you are around all the time maybe you take for granted. And others that are devoid of everything like witnessing a life that you've been walking in a desert for 40 years 
all of a sudden Allah shows an oasis. Of course they're going to recognize it because their heart been yearning for that. And somebody who for 40 years is just basking in the oasis doesn't realize, hey the rest of this place is a desert. Right? The people in the Zawis and they're very spoiled, they think everything is great. Well go back out to the desert and see the suffering. Then you oh maybe not everywhere is an oasis, let me, let me come back into the oasis. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa basir Surat al Fatiha. What we got for interactive Thursday? You gotta keep the par up. If they're low level, then let's put it at helpme at nurmuhammad.com. Okay, guys, you're not reading the book, so you don't get any questions answered today. InshaAllah. They gotta read the books, they gotta read the timeless reality and talk about the meditation, talk about all these spiritual practices, inshaAllah. Subhana, inshaAllah Haji Shahid, let's recite the du'a qunut inshaAllah three times and then we'll close for tonight for the khatma khawjikan. InshaAllah grants shifa and healing for all those who are sick and in difficulty and have loved ones who are sick and in difficulty Ya Rabbi uh, and anyone who's being forced into an oppression and something they don't want to do. Ya Rabbi make it to be of ease and take away its harm and its difficulty inshaAllah. And this is the du'a qunut from Imam Shafi in our fajr of Rakh inshaAllah. Oh, Three times inshaAllah. Fa'awzu billahi min shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. I sent also in the zikr group if you need. <coughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم اهدنا بفضلك في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وَتَوَلَّنَا فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتْ وَبَارِكْ لَنَا فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتْ وَقِنَا وَاصْرِفْ عَنَّا شَرَّ مَا قَدَيْتْ فَإِنَّكَ تَقْضِي بِالْحَقِّ وَلَا يُقْدَ عَلَيْكْ وإنه لا يذل من باليت ولا يعز من عاديت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت فلك الحمد على ما قديت نستغفرك اللهم من كل الذنوب ونتوب عليك وصلى الله على النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اكشف عنا من البلايا ما لا يكشفه غيرك اللهم اسقنا الغيث سقيا رحمة ولا تجعلنا من القالتين رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين اللهم افتح لنا فتحا مبينا وأنت خير الفاتحين فقطع دابر القوم الذين ظلموا والحمد لله رب العالمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم اهدنا بفضلك في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما اعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا شر ما قديت 
فَإِنَّكَ تَقْضِي بِالْحَقِّ وَلَا يُقْدَ عَلَيْكَ فَإِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَنْ بَالَيْكَ وَلَا يَعِزُ مَنْ عَادَيْكَ تَبَارَكْتَ رَبَّنَا وَتَعَالَيْكَ فَلَكَ الْحَمْدُ عَلَى مَا قَدَيْكَ نستغفرك اللهم من كل الذنوب ونتوب إليك وصلى الله على النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اكشف عنا من البلايا ما لا يكشف غيرك اللهم اسكن الغيث سكيا رحمة ولا تجعلنا من القالتين رب اغفر وارحم أنت خير الراحمين اللهم افتح لنا فتحا مبينا وأنت خير الفاتحين فقطع دابر القوم الذين ذلموا والحمد لله رب العالمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم اهدنا بفضلك في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا في ما أعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا شر ما قديت فإنك تقضي بالحق ولا يقضى عليك وإنه لا يذل من واليت ولا يعز من عاديت تبارك ربنا وتعاليت فلك الحمد على ما قديت نستغفرك اللهم من كل الذنوب ونتوب إليك وصلى الله على النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اكشف عنا من البلايا ما لا يكشفه غيرك اللهم اسكن الغيث سكيا رحمة ولا تجعلنا من القانتين رب اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين اللهم افتح لنا فتحا مبينا وأنت خير الفاتحين فقطع دابر القوم الذين ظلموا والحمد لله رب العالمين. O oh Allah, guide us by your favor to those whom you guided, and pardon us with those whom you have pardoned. Amen. Bring us close to those whom you have brought nigh. Amen. Bring us close to those whom you have brought nigh, and bless us in all that you gave us. Amen. Protect us and turn away from us the evil of what you have decreed. Amen. For it is you that decrees, and there is no decree upon you. Amen. You do not humiliate the one whom you have befriended, Amen. and do not increase the one whom you have taken as an enemy. Amen. Blessed and exalted are you, our Lord. To you, all praise for what you have decreed. We ask your forgiveness, O Allah, and turn in repentance to you. Amen. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Sayyidina Muhammad and on his family and on his companions. Amen. O Allah, lift, us from lift from us trials which no one but you can lift. Amen. O Allah, give us a drink from the rain of your mercy and let, not, and let us not be of the despondent. Lord, forgive us and have mercy, for you are most merciful. O Allah, open for us a manifest opening, for you are the best of openers. Amen. So the last remnant of the people who did evil was cut off. Amen. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. Allah <laughs> Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Muhammad Mahdi alayhi salam, Baruchullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam, Thurma Sabbaq al-Siddiq, Sayyidina Umma, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, Sayyidat al-Fatima alayhi salam, Sayyidina Hazaz alayhi salam, Uwa Mashuka Fatu Shtafa Nubmanu Fashu Shamrika, Yashamat al-Fardani Abdul Rafu Yaman Yusuf al-Siddiq, Imam al-Arafin, Nisan al-Mutaqalimin, Arif Tayyar Maruf ibn Murhan, Burhan Karam Nagawth al Anam, Sahaba Waksin Muhammad al Mahdi, Salam, Wasaira Wasadatina, Wasidakin al Fatiha.